Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for August 7th to the 20th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my beautiful darlings, let's jump right in here. So first, we're going to talk about your astrology. So we're not going to be looking at charts. You're just going to go with the sign you always go with. And we are going to be seeing what kind of message, how is astrology going to be affecting you in this time period? And it could be anything. It could be, it could be romance. It could be, it could be anything, anything, finance, anything could come up here. So it's whatever your spirit guides want you to know. Then we're going to look at your romantic love life. Who's coming towards you? And who, uh, how is your, what's going to happen in this time period of August 7th to the 20th? And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way? Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. So what's going to happen with my Aquarius's astrology for August 7th to the 20th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. see all right let's find out here Aquarius what's gonna have my Aquarius astrology August 7th the 20th show my cards you see show my cards you need to see okay so let's find out here okay so you could be dealing with an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy uh, there could be some advice being given here because Queens represents advice they represent uh, patience contemplation um, also, my intuition is being drawn to the top of the Queen of Wands head. So I feel like there is going to be something that's going to come to light for you guys. Um, and, and from this understanding here, you guys are going to be more selective, uh, be uh, cognizant of like your value, your worth. Because the Queen of Wands for me is like that energy of okay, look, I'm not going to accept just any old thing. Um, I want to be selective. I want, I know, I know whatever this is pertaining to with this Queen of Wands energy. It's like this, this understanding of like, I know my value. I know my worth, you know, I'm, I'm not just going to accept any old option and I'm going to be selective about this. I'm going to be picky about this. Okay. Yeah. We got the Empress card energy. Some of you guys could really be focusing also on, um, your looks uh you could be realizing that you're you are attractive some of you guys maybe were working on you know really doing that like really you know how you when you have those time periods in your life where you're just like you know what um i know for me anyway it's like i'm ready to change my hair you know i'm ready to change my hair color uh you know i want to i i really want to really want to buy this kind of makeup or I want to like, you know, look this kind of way. So it's almost like you're changing your look somehow. It's like you're, you're, you're like, okay, you know what? I'm going to work on myself and I'm going to feel like I'm, I'm like, you know, I, I want to have a sense of like, you know, you buy yourself new clothes, you change your look. Something you're doing is you're upgrading yourself. Okay. With the Empress card energy. So maybe you guys are going on a, you know, uh, doing a more of a workout routine. Okay. So like also for me, it's like, <laughs> sometimes I'm like, okay, you know what? I need to get myself on a diet here. Okay. So some of you guys are just working on yourself and you're, you're, you're wanting to be more attractive. You're wanting to be more sexy. You're wanting to be in that energy. Okay. So I feel like with the page of cups energy, there is this good news coming in for you guys with the Page of Cups, okay? Some kind of um, emotional, um, emotional, uh, this is like uh, Cups energy has to do with emotions and love, and it has to do with good news. Could also be dealing with an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy or Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. So let's get more information here, uh, Aquarius, and see what's going on. So... What's going on? How is Aquarius's astrology being affected August 7th to the 20th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Yeah, what I hear is reinventing. 
Like you are reinventing yourself. You have like, you have a lot of like actors and actresses that do this all the time. It's like they almost like, they, they, they look one way and then they come back out and they're like reinvented and like they, they reimagine themselves and they, you know, they do different things. And it's like, you guys are like at that place, you're just like, yeah, I want, I want this. I want to just look good. I want to feel good about myself, you know? All right, so how is Aquarius' astrology going to be affected? August 7th to the 20th. Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. Yeah, Venus energy is coming out. Beauty, attraction, right? So you got this beauty, attraction. And Sagittarius talks about, you know, uh, a different philosophy about beauty and attraction. Yeah. Because, uh, uh, Sagittarius is higher learning, higher knowledge, uh, guru, teacher, okay? But I feel like in this case scenario, it's just like a new way of looking at it, you know? A new philosophy. And also Leo is the ego too. So it's like you're definitely getting a boost in your ego. You're feeling good about yourself and you're doing things actually to really take care of yourself, to appreciate yourself. And it's like people are noticing that about you. Like you are being more selective and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, you know, when you get people that treat you down here, you start holding yourself a more high regard, which is what I feel like with this Empress card energy. And you're realizing your value and your worth and you're, you're, you're doing things to make yourself feel good. And there's nothing wrong with that. And as a result though, like you're being noticed People are noticing you more with that Queen of Wands energy, this Empress card energy. And it's a growing love for yourself. Then it is going to bring some type of good news for you guys with the Page of Cups energy. Um, I see that. And also there could be some kind of traveling. Ah, some of you guys are getting ready for a vacation, traveling somewhere. Yeah, I could, I could see that. Yep. I know what I know, and I have to put the bathing suit on. I'm like, okay, you know, I gotta, I gotta get some stuff together there. <laughs> so, I gotta tighten my belt a bit. <laughs> so it looks like you're gonna end a tough cycle coming up here, okay? And you are going to be really selective in your actions with the Knight of Pent, uh, the yes, the Knight of Pentacles energy, and you're gonna be wise decisions when it based on the long term, when it comes to celebrations and hanging out and joyful energy. And Starcard shows me a lot of optimism about the future, but more or less just being clear cut about what's going on here and how it's going to affect you. You are going to be changing your look. Some of you guys are changing your look, possibly because you're going on vacation or you're, you're traveling somewhere. Uh, it's definitely boosting your ego. That's for sure with Leo energy. And you're taking leadership role when it comes to this beauty, attraction, and things that you love, right? Um, but I feel like more like what I hear is just a transformation, a reinventing, a reimagining. You know, we, we, you know, we have to remember also, right? These are basically we're our soul is limitless. It's just that beautiful energy within us. But these these uh, these bodies are coats. Like, you know, you take on, take off the coat, you know, you can alter the coat, you know. So it's like you guys are just kind of looking at this situation differently. You're, 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 you're you know, boosting your self-confidence and you're doing things for yourself and um, you're feeling good about this. And it's, it's, a, it's a different philosophy here. It's a reinventing, a reimagining here. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So like... We all go through periods where, you know, we want to feel better about ourselves. We want to do things for ourselves. We want to take better care of ourselves. We want to, you know, for me, I'm going on that diet. <laughs> like, you know, I want to change my hair color. It's like kind of like you're reimagining, re-looking at the situation and saying, okay, what can I do to improve myself? Okay, that's just straightforward. Okay, so that's what this uh, next couple weeks is going to be about, just to be clear cut about it. So let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for Aquarius's when it comes to their astrology for their highest best good for the best possible offer for them August 7th to the 20th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. 
Yeah, it says a, a blessing here coming in. We see you're seeing the bigger picture here, taking the leadership role. We see something about socializing, hanging out, and getting happy about these changes and these new beginnings coming up. And we see that there is uh, this lots of self-contemplation here and a lot of potential coming in for you guys. Yeah, so, I mean, it just feels like you guys are going to be reimagining, contemplating, doing, like, a lot of um, self-discovery and, like, reinventing yourself and just uh, reimagining how do you want to look, how do you want to present yourself to the world, and, you know, where do you want to go from here with, with that, you know? It's more or less about outer look, I feel like, or, like, things that you love and things that you find that are beautiful and attractive, and you're also realizing your value and your worth here and you're not accepting people in your sphere that um, you know treat you a certain way you're being very selective here about who you're dealing with also all right so my beautiful Aquarius says let's move into your romantic love life here all right so what's going to my Aquarius says romantic love life August 7th to the 20th show my cards you need to see Show me the cards I need to see. All right, my beautiful Aquarius, so let's take a look here. So it looks like there's, you guys are coming up and, and it looks like there's going to be a decision being made about the future here. But you're basing this decision on the lack of communication from somebody and on the past. Because there is somebody that you are waiting for here with the Three of Wands energy. But guess what? Divine timing is about to happen for you guys with the Wheel of Fortune energy. So there's a blessing coming in here. Um, and it's about to be time for you guys. Because I feel like someone, some of you guys are out of communication with someone. And there's been this waiting around. The influence is something about this house or home situation. You could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Yes, it's like saying, for your advice, is saying, follow your heart here. So I see at the bottom of the deck, there's something about a marriage or a traditional relationship, or there could be even spiritual factors around this with the Hierophant card. And we see a relationship and someone who really wants to hold on to you. Looks like there's like this travel or this faraway energy and someone who's about to speak their truth about their emotions here with the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck there. So what's going to have my Aquarius's romantic love life August 7th to the 20th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, so a book card shows something about unknowns and a state of confusion about the stuck energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep going. What's going on, my Aquarius? Is your like love life August 7th to the 20th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, so it looks like there has been a unique situation for you guys. Um, but it looks like you found a path here and you've overcome some obstacles and blockages. It looks like someone's deciding to not take other people's opinions and to free themselves to try to have this conversation. And again, I see that you are very attractive, so you're definitely being noticed here. Um, there could be somebody who wants to accomplish something here with the world card energy or travel to you. And I see that there could be a fresh start, new opportunity, or this small amount of travel or this naivete or playful energy. Somebody is concerned about a stagnation or stuck energy or being stuck in the middle. So as a result, they decide to rush in and just make it a very abrupt decision to reveal some things with the sun card energy to ask for your forgiveness. So I see because of the fact that someone feels very stuck in the middle of a situation. And so they know they got to make some power moves here and some actions. So 
there's a very unique situation going on and it seems like there's a lot of people around this but it's like this person's really attracted to you and they like feel stuck in the middle of a situation but they're like please can you please forgive me I really want to take some actions here because I see the king of pentacles is saying whoever is coming towards you you see is the person that's the wisest decision for you on the long term very stable energy right uh, your advice is saying to follow your heart here with the Ace of Cups energy. Um, I'm just going to go down another layer here on this, okay? What's going on my Aquarius is Romantic Love Life? August 7th to the 20th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Yep. I said there's something about communication here. You feel like home, and I'm obsessed. This is a twin flame energy. Are they playing games? Will you listen? So I guess I feel like that's why the that child card energy was there. It's like someone is concerned about somebody being immature. So we have the high priestess card showing that there's a secret, um, or this burdens and responsibility someone's keeping something secret because they lack the trust but it's like I know you're so special so there could be a spiritual understanding a spiritual connection but there's like a lack of trust here so there's also another offer coming in ace of wands renewed passion or an offer of passion here so there's some concerns about delays or obstacles around the situation and somebody's like i really want to protect this but i'm confused about what to do so someone's charging in and they are coming towards you and wanting a victory when it comes to this isolation or separation and so they're going to bring something to light here and so it looks like they're going to communicate with you very soon Okay, so as I said, I feel like somebody here, you're dealing with somebody here that you've been out of communication with and somebody you've been waiting for. And um, behind the scenes, though, they're very obsessed and they realize you feel like home. And it's a twin flame energy here. But there's been a lot of game playing around. Like, so it's like this person's like, okay, will you even listen to me? You read so much to me, you're very special, but on the same token, there's like this sense of confusion here. But so there is gonna be communication coming in soon though, okay? We see this house and home situation, and we see an abrupt decision that will be made. King of Pentacles talks about somebody who's traveling far away, or there's been some distance longing or missing you. There's this worry and concern saying, don't worry about this situation. Stop worrying, there's love here. Ace of Clubs, this is your true love. Um, so go down layer here. So I told you the truth will be revealed. The conversation will be had here as the influence. You are going to really be surprised about this. Yep. So it says, don't worry. Okay. You're about to be shocked and surprised. There's going to be a massive change coming in because of this communication. So let's get you guys some advice. Nice advice when it comes to my Aquarius is for the highest, best good, for the best possible for them. August 7th to the 20th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yep. I told you, don't worry. This is your true love. But be careful about relationship patterns. But know that you need to follow your heart and get ready for the union of your heart here with this person. Practice compassion and turn on your heart light. Okay. All right, my beautiful Aquariuses. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.